real-time analysis, Auburn surpassed Oklahoma on the first in the front court with a 17-game winning streak. Auburn wrapped up one of the most significant weeks in program history the only way it could, with Auburn Arena in a frenzy. Playing in front of its home crowd for the first time ever as the nation's number one team, Auburn did not disappoint. Auburn rode big-time performances from its front court stars to an 86-68 win against Oklahoma in the Big 12 SEC Challenge on Saturday afternoon. Read more Auburn Sports, rewinding Auburn's 86-68 win against Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Bruce Pearl's contract extended for eight years, $50.2 million. Olympic gold medalist Suni Lee wins collegiate all-around debut, helps Auburn Gymnastics beat rival Alabama. The Tigers led from start to finish, leading by as many as 20 late in the second half, on their way to the program's 17th straight win, which is now tied for the second longest win streak in school history. Auburn previously won 17 in a row during the 1998-99 season. The non-conference win capped a momentous week on the Plains, one that began Monday with the team ascending to the number one ranking in the AP poll following its top 15 win against Kentucky last weekend, continued with a gut check road win at Missouri and then saw head coach Bruce Pearl agree to an eight-year contract extension that will keep him at Auburn for life. Auburn now sits at 20-1 overall, giving the program its 13th 20-win season all-time and its fourth in the last five seasons under Pearl. And there's still more than a month left in the regular season. Here are AL.com's key takeaways from Saturday's game. Casual bounce back for Jabari Smith. Jabari Smith had the worst shooting performance of his young career Tuesday at Missouri, knocking down just two of 15 shots and seeing his 16-game streak scoring in double figures come to an end, as he finished with five points in the close win. Pearl on Thursday expressed little concern about Smith's off-night offensively against Missouri, especially since the freshman Phenom remained engaged on the defensive end, finishing as Auburn's top defender, based on advanced metrics, and pulled down eight rebounds. Smith was the first player back in the gym early Thursday morning, working on his jump shot. He then delivered the fourth double-double of his career, and first since December 22nd against Murray State, on Saturday against Oklahoma. Smith scored 23 points on 6 of 14 shooting while going 9 of 10 formed the free throw line, and he grabbed 12 rebounds to go along with 2 steals and a block. It was Smith's first 20 and 10 game in sec play and his second of the season, following his 23 point, 10 rebound performance against ULM in his second career game back in November. Auburn might have the best front court in the country. Bruce Pearl likes to say that Auburn has number 10 and other teams don't. While there's no denying Smith's next level talent, perhaps Pearl should amend one of his most frequently used phrases this season. The fact is, Auburn has number 10 and number 13, and it might just add up to the best front court in the country. Smith and Walker Kessler combined for 44 of Auburn's 86 points, 21 rebounds, 5 blocks and 3 steals. Along with Smith's 23 points and 12 rebounds, Kessler turned in a near double-double, scoring 21 points, grabbing 9 rebounds and blocking 4 shots. He connected on 2 of 4 3-point attempts, giving him his first career game with multiple made 3 points pointers, and he shot 7 of 7 from inside the arc. Devon Cambridge equals Windex. Devon Cambridge's work on the offensive boards this week cannot be overlooked. After pulling down 9 offensive rebounds, all in the second half, on Tuesday night at Missouri, Cambridge was back to cleaning the glass Saturday at Auburn Arena and coming down with crucial offensive rebounds midway through the second half. Cambridge grabbed 4 offensive rebounds against Oklahoma, including ones on back-to-back -back possessions after the Sooners cut the Tigers' lead down to 3 with 12-24 to play. Cambridge crashed the offensive boards after a missed three-pointer by Jalen Williams and then drew a foul as he went up for the putback. He knocked down both free throws to push Auburn's lead back to five. On the ensuing possession, he corralled a missed three-pointer by Smith and got fouled while making the second chance layup. He completed the three-point play at the line, putting Auburn back in front by eight with 11.55 to play. He snagged another offensive rebound and beat the shot clock for another basket with 4.09 to play to put Auburn ahead, 74 to 60. Cambridge's effort on the offensive glass helped Auburn finish with a 41-29 advantage on the boards. Cambridge finished with an offensive rebound rate of 26.1%, meaning he rebounded more than one of every four shots Auburn missed while he was on the court. AL.com will update this post. Tom Green is an Auburn beat reporter for Alabama Media Group. Follow him on Twitter at Thomas underscore Verde.